Hi everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share my kickoff for my 2019 Halloween spooktacular little DIYs. Now, there were some things that I wanted to do for my home, for my three-tiered tray, and for my Halloween decorations. And so I thought that I would do a little series this year to share uh, consecutively my DIYs for Halloween using things from the Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and maybe some other places. I will, you know, let you know in the video with, uh, you know, when I use those. So anyway, I hope that you join me for the next few days because I will share my Halloween spooktacular DIYs that I created for my home and uh, maybe it will inspire you to create it as well. All right, so let's get started. First up are some little DIY Dollar Tree wood pumpkins that I wanted to create for my three-tiered tray to put in my decor this year. So using some of those wood pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, I just added all of these little embellishments and made some cute little pumpkins. So let me show you what all I used. I'm starting with these three wood pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Um, I picked them up earlier in the season because I knew I was going to do lots of projects with these. The scrapbook paper I'm using is the Spooktacular is from my stash I've had for a couple of years, but you can get Halloween paper uh, anywhere at the craft store. And then as well as the WJB collection, the uh, Boo paper I'm using is from that Kane Company designer stack. Like I said, I've had it for a couple of years. And then the uh, WJB is from the Paper Studio, and that is uh, found at Hobby Lobby. And just recently this season, I did see it uh, in the Hobby Lobby in the scrapbooking section. Okay, to get those pesty little stickers off of things like this, um, I picked up the Cricut Easy Press Mini. It is just a little mini iron uh, heating tool heat press it is so cute you know I've told you before I am a gadget junkie and so I had an Amazon gift card and uh, I got it on sale so I picked it up now um, I'm gonna take off the raffia from each of these pumpkins before I get started and then I'm gonna show you here this is not a review this is uh, not sponsored by Cricut or anything I am just showing you um, what I'm doing to get these pesty little stick stickers off and this is the first time that I'm using this little thing and so I'm like well gosh darn it I would have thought it would have came off a little bit better and so I'm just kind of struggling here and just kind of you know taking off the little sticker from the very first pumpkin then um, I happen to see because you know I didn't read any instructions there are three heat settings so I kicked that little bad boy up to where all of them are you know selected and so just in a couple of seconds they turn green and I'm like okay let's see what we're going to do now so I have the um, next pumpkin I'm just you know putting the little heat tool on and just putting it on for you know I don't know 30 or 40 seconds maybe a minute and it came off much better so I am very happy with this little Cricut tool um, so I'm just doing all three of them and then we'll get started on putting the paper okay I just put the wood pumpkin on there take a pencil and then I just trace the pattern of the pumpkin um, when sometimes when it's pattern like this I'll trace on the front of the paper versus the back only because I want to capture a certain wording or certain pattern or something like that um, but then for the uh, this one and then for the third one I trace the pumpkin on the back and then cut it out Okay, I'm using this Mod Podge in gloss because I prefer the glossy look, but they also make a matte finish. Uh, and then that white thing is a squeegee I use to get out smooth my paper on to get out the excess. Now I want to share a little crafting tip that I just recently learned after many years of doing, um, you know, projects like this and putting Mod Podge on. Let the Mod Podge completely dry 
I um, want to, you know, underneath there. And uh, before I put on my top coat and Mod Podge, because that decreases the bubbles. And so it just goes to show that you're never too old to learn new tricks and never too uh, much of an experienced crafter to learn something new. So anyway, I'm just finishing up these uh, pumpkins by just putting on the Mod Podge and um, squeezing out any of the excess glue, wiping that off, and then I will let that completely dry before I put on the top coat of the Mod Podge. To give some distressing around the edges of my pumpkins, I'm using my Tim Holtz Distressed Ink, the black suit. I will have it linked below in the description if you want to see the details of this exact one that I used. I'm just going around the edges and then since this is a little wet, I just take my finger and I just smooth it out so that it gives it a little um, distressing and blending and you know just, just gives it the look that I like. Now it's time to decorate the pumpkins. So I have some very large rickrack. Um, I find this at Hobby Lobby, but recently I've noticed that Walmart is carrying it as well in their crafts section. So I am just, you know, putting Glue, hot gluing pieces on the bottom where I kind of like it and then I'm um, just using my um, cutter bees I use these scissors um, they're strictly for ribbon and things like this I have my little scissors marked I have like scissors for every little thing that I have in my craft room and so I will have those linked below if you would like to check those out I use those just for ribbon then using my ultra fine sharpie marker i only use the sharpie marker brand i have been getting questions about that recently so i wanted to make mention of that because it does not smear and i like that and uh, so to make the bows i have these fat quarters that i picked up early in the season when walmart was just putting out their halloween fabric and then uh, i'm going to take each one of those and and cut off actually tear off about a one inch strip i like to tear off my fabrics because it gives a ragged edge and i like that i just cut off the strings um this is the bow that i'm going to be making so i have one here that i'm just kind of sharing what i did and then i'm going to make the other two bows Using some glittery Chanel stems that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I just wrap that around the stem of the pumpkin and then I just twist it to kind of have it hold and also put a little dot of hot glue. I have a thin dowel that I just wrap the um, Chanel stem around and so that it gives me the little curly cue and then I just kind of position it there the way that I want. So I just take my fabric and I'm just wrapping it around the little stem, but if that does, if it's not thick enough, you know, it can always be glued or something like that. Now the next layer of my bow, I have some raffia because I love to use raffia on my projects. It's strictly, you know, an option um, for us to use the different types of textures and ribbons that we would like. Um, this black and white buffalo check I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm just making a simple little loopy bow and just using my little mini stapler, tiny attacher, um, to secure that in the middle. And then I just layer that raffia on top of the black and white buffalo check and then secure that with a little Chanel stem and then just hot glue that right there on top of there.
I just trim off uh, the length of the little ribbon. Then the fabric is a little limp, so I'm using my Stiffen Quick to uh, stiffen up the fabric on each of these little pumpkins so that it gives it a little more body. Then to provide a little bit more embellishment, I'm using some of the DIY stickers and I dusted off my Peachy Keen Stamp Faces stamp set. Um, it has these little jack-o'-lantern faces, just so cute. Um, I will try to find uh, Peachy Keen Stamps. I know that they're still in business, but I've had these stamps for many years and I'm like, why don't you use these? Anyway, so it has just some cute little faces. So I'm just using some black ink and my little faces and I'm just, you know, stamping some little faces on there. I make sure that I use some ink that um, will not smear so that is uh, a very important little tip and so the now I'm just um, hot gluing and embellishing uh, these little pumpkins I'm pretty happy with the way that these first, uh, my first project turned out in my 2019 Halloween DIY spooktacular little event. Um, make sure that you come back and watch the other Halloween DIYs that I have that I'm going to be creating for uh, myself so that it may inspire you. If you do create any of these, please share it with us in the Country Charm community. It's a free Facebook community that we um, share different ideas, tutorials, instructions, uh, and I invite you all to participate. Uh, or if you make these, please, please tag me on Instagram at Country Charm Tracy. Uh, give the video a like. If you are new and you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. I appreciate you all, your sweet comments, your support of my channel. Um, I love you all, and you, you all have a great day. God bless.